Hello, I'm Claire. Thank you so much for popping in and looking at today's video. If you enjoy it or any of my other videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me reach out to new people. Um, yeah. I'm popping in today. I did a poll on my Instagram stories. Um, my Instagram is at Claire Riley. Um, what my next video should be and with a resounding with a resounding win this was the video that you guys chose so here it is today i'm talking about five ways to reduce your waste on a very minimal budget um there's so many great videos out there and so many amazing articles and blog posts about how to reduce your rubbish. This is something that everyone, I think, is focusing on these days. Something that a lot of people talk about is buying a new X, Y, and Z. There's so many amazing videos on YouTube and blog posts out there about how to reduce your single-use plastic consumption. Um, but what I really wanted to focus on today was how to do that on a very, very low budget. So some things that we do in our home, number one, buy things in bigger bags. So um, we don't have a bulk food store very close to us. And we honestly, it's expensive. Those places are super expensive. And so what we do instead is buy things in bigger bags. So I buy 12 kilos of flour in a go. I buy 10 kilos of rice at a time. Um, I buy the biggest bag of the thing that I need to buy at the supermarket, which is available at most supermarkets. Um, and often it's a bigger outlay initially, but it means you're saving money in the long term. So if you can budget for those things once a month or once a quarter, then those things mean, it means that you don't have to then keep, keep buying those things and it eliminates the use for um, lots of individual packages if you have one big package um, with that as well if you can get those things in paper so yeah number two is avoid buying things in plastic if you can so our flour comes in a paper bag um, I will look at products on the shelves and try and get the one that has the least amount of plastic in the packaging if possible number three is use what you have. So I know Sarah Wilson, I'll link her below, is an amazing one for using what you have. She, you don't need to buy a keep cup, contrary to popular belief. You can use a glass jar and she keeps all of her elastic bands and puts the elastic bands around and that creates the um, bit so you don't burn your little fingers. Um, and you, you know, you get those rubber bands on around things that you're avoiding getting plastic with, like asparagus or broccolini or those sorts of things. We save up those plastic, we save up those elastic bands and use them, you can use them around a jar that can become your keep cup. We have a drawer full of jars in our kitchen and we use them for anything from putting in homemade dip to, um, I gave someone some gingerbread house in a glass jar. I'll pop that video up in the cards. We use them for everything, glass jars, and they can get reused so many times. So that's number three, use what you have. Also, you don't need to go and buy beautiful, reusable grocery bags because you've got bags already in your house. I'm 100% sure you already have bags to use. They might not be super insta-worthy, but I think these days that makes them insta-worthy. <laughs> Number four is do not use plastic bags from the veggie section on things that don't need plastic bags. Things like onions. I mean, onions, it's, you know, it's nice to contain them but onions have a skin on the outside. Bananas have a skin on the outside. Avocados have a skin on the outside. Apples you can wash. All of these things don't need a plastic bag. Um, and if the only reason you're putting them in a plastic bag is to contain them, just pull them out of your trolley one by one and they can get weighed all together. Those things 
do not need a plastic bag if you need to contain them. There's the brown paper bags in the mushroom section, which I would use if I'm trying to contain beans or snow peas, all that sort of thing. So go ahead and grab those. Um, and a, a beautiful friend of mine, Celia, um, makes her own produce bags out of um, lace she's found in op shops. So you can make some of your own. If you're not super savvy with the sewing machine, um, you can hand stitch them. You could get someone to give you a hand. Um, yeah, it's a really great way of you know reusing. And that brings me to number five is use the op shop or Facebook marketplace. Um, my goal has been since we've moved back into our house is to only re only furnish our home with secondhand things. So there is a few, there is quite a few new things in our home, but to everything that I've gotten recently, we needed a new couch. Um, and stools and a few different kinds of things and I've just been waiting to find them either in the op shop or in Facebook marketplace and I tell you what it's really fun it's satisfying it's a thrill of the chase I'll pop um, a link to my op shopping playlist um, yeah it's really fun it's super satisfying and I think that it's something that more people should get into. So my five things are quickly, go, I'll go through again, is buy things in bigger bags. So buying bulk bags, if you can't afford bulk food shops. Um, use what you have in terms of zero waste um, and that sort of thing. Do not throw out things that you have because they're plastic. Use them until the end of their life. Use the op shop or Facebook marketplace don't use bags in the produce section that already have their own container, you know, a really good hearty skin and avoid buying things in plastic if you can. So that's my five super easy tips of reducing your waste um, on a zero budget. So zero waste on a zero budget. Um, we're not zero waste, we probably never will be, but I'm definitely aiming to reduce our single use plastic more in our home, always. Um, thanks so much for watching, I'd love for you to subscribe, subscribe to my channel um, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I will see you next Monday.